ByteDance, the company behind the recently released SDXL Lightning series models, has taken new strides. Their focus extends beyond the realm of text to image. As they have unveiled the animated FV2 model based on the SD 1.5 version. Emphasizing its speed, they claim it is 10 times faster than the anime diff version. I'm eager to give it a go. Upon opening the release page, you'll immediately notice some GIFs showcasing the results. There are representations of anime, real people, buildings, and landscapes. The top two rows likely involve text to image paired with motion Laura, while the bottom row integrates control net to control poses. Overall, the effects appear quite impressive. Moving on, there are introductions and papers. I didn't delve into the papers, but one thing to note is that this model is based on anime diff SD 1.5 v2. Therefore, if you're only using SDXL, it's best not to download this. Additionally, this model aligns with the Lightning series large models, featuring versions with 1, 2, 4, and 8 steps. It's worth noting that the one-step version is strictly for research purposes. Based on past experiences, it's advisable to steer clear of downloading this particular step count. Below, there's a demo for us to try out. The interface is quite straightforward, with options for prompts, checkpoints, motions, and steps. Let's start by filling in the prompts. There are two base models options, Toon You for Anime and AP Serialism for Real People. Let's first explore the anime checkpoints effects. There are numerous options for motion styles, but we'll stick with the default. Select four steps and click Run. It queues for GPU allocation, which is quite swift. However, it seems we've run into a bit of bad luck as it generated some inappropriate content, which the web page automatically blocked. Let's try again. The animation's effect seems average. The visuals are somewhat blurry, and the motion isn't very distinct. Let's switch to the real person model, select zoom in for motion, try 8 steps, and click run. This requires loading the new model, so we'll wait a bit. The character's movements are more pronounced this time, but the visuals are still not very clear. It could be a limitation of the demo, I'll try locally later. Returning to the release page, there are recommended stylized checkpoints to pair with. The first five lean towards realism, while the latter ones are more cartoonish. Among them, Dream Shaper, Magic Mix Realistic, and Toon You are models I frequently use, so I'll select them in this video. There are also some suggestions below such as the effectiveness of running a three-step model with two steps and occasionally deviating from CFG 1.0 for better results. Setting motion LoRa to 0 0.7, 0 0.8 can help avoid watermarks, among other tips. Further down, there are usage instructions. I'll skip Diffuser's usage and check its usage in Comfy UI. The plugins are basic, and opening the workflow reveals a standard text to image flow with an anime diff loader node connected to the Lightning model. Besides text-to-image videos, there's also a workflow for video-to-image conversion, which is straightforward and saves time using DW Pose to extract pose information from the source video, and then generating new image frames using text-to-image with ControlNet before combining them into a new video. It's much simpler than what I usually do. Switching to the download page. As mentioned earlier, Download the two step, four step, and eight step models of ComfyWi. Dot sensors and place them in the models directory of ComfyUI Anime Diff Evolved. Since its main feature is speed, let's compare it with Animate Diff LCM on the same track to see which is faster. We'll import our Anime Diff LCM workflow. Modify the checkpoint to Magic Mix, one of the five real person checkpoints mentioned earlier. Connect a sample setting node here. Change noise underscore type to free noise, which greatly enhances stability between frames, especially in video to image conversions where control net defines actions in the video, avoiding drastic changes between frames. 
Remove the video combine node from the end of the flow and then re-add it. This is because I updated the video helper custom nodes and now using it directly would cause errors. Change the format to MP4. Click Run. Reviewing the results. They are impressive. And keen observers may notice that the range of movements has decreased. Thanks to free noise. Now, let's add Animate Diff underscore Lightning to this workflow. Select all these nodes. Group them as LCM. Then copy and paste them below. Group them as Lightning. Change the color to brown for differentiation. Keep the checkpoint unchanged and switch the anime diff model to the four step lightning model. Set it to sqrt underscore linear here. Remove the LCM's LoRa node. Reconnect the clip. Delete the LCM cycle node. Add a K sampler select node. Change the sampling method to Euler. Remove the LCM scheduler node. Add a basic scheduler using SGM underscore uniform. Change the iteration steps to correspond with the model's four steps. Set CFG to 1, VAE to normal, and leave other settings unchanged. Click Run. Oh, the models aren't connected here. Let's fix that. Click Run. And view the results. Comparing the two, the LCM is clearly better in terms of lighting and character clarity. But it's worth noting that LCM runs 6 steps of Euler plus 4 steps of LCM, totaling 10 steps, compared to Lightning's 4 steps. Let's try the 8-step model to see if there's any improvement. Change the iteration steps to 8. Click Run. And Accelerate. The 8-step results are out, and compared to the 4-step, the quality hasn't improved significantly, still lagging behind LCM. Let's switch to the two new anime model. Click Run. The lightning results are finished, let's zoom in and take a look. Although the visuals are still somewhat blurry, overall quality is much better than the real person model. The colors are vibrant, and aside from the sudden hand movements, the animation flows smoothly. Now, let's check the LCM results, zoom in for comparison. LCM saturation is slightly lower, the characters look more natural, and the water's appearance is better. In summary, while lightning is faster, at this stage, I still prefer LCM. The overall video quality is much better, and LCM isn't significantly slower than lightning. For those already using LCM-related models, I wouldn't recommend downloading the Lightning model separately. Perhaps ByteDance will release an SDXL version of the anime diff model soon, and we can try that out then. That concludes today's video. I'll include the model and comparison workflow in the description below for those interested. Until next time.